what I go on YouTube land thanks for stopping by again it's appreciated as always I, uh, I trust you are all having a most righteous week I myself am not but that's another story um, another very big job broke out so much so that I've had to leave myself some notes so that I, uh, I don't forget all the bits that we've got to attend to the uh, the little grey cells are not what they once were if you know what I mean um, nice car though BMW 220D. Oh, before we carry on, some housekeeping. Um, you may or may not have noticed I've started adding uh, chapters to the videos. Um, look, I know they're long and I can't please everybody. Customers want to see certain things, prospective customers want to see another, but in detail, want to see something else. Can't please everybody so I put everything into one video so it's really simple now the chapters are in they're all titled you know if you don't want to watch X or Y you can skip forward to the next bit if you want to see A and B you're not interested in X and Y you can you can skip that but don't just skip the entire video um, viewer retention is in, really important to that YouTube algorithm so just just follow the chapters, I've, I've done all the hard work for you, I've put in all the effort for you, you don't have to do anything other than press the bits you want to see. You want to watch it all, that's awesome, grab a brew, some food, a beer, whatever you need to do. Um, but the work's done for you, so I would appreciate you just take the time, enjoy the bits that you want to watch, and obviously all the glossy stuff will be at the end. Right, so, I've left myself some notes, I don't trust you all to uh, not look at the pin. Don't trust anybody, it serves me well. Where are we? Right. Uh, BMW, BMW, BMW 220D. Um, so look, dual stage, which won't surprise you one bit. Full coating package, again, which won't surprise you at all. 90% of the stuff you see at the moment, isn't it? Um, car was not bought new. Uh, so, a lot of defects on it, uh, namely it is covered in holograms and scratches, some individual scratches and some clusters of scratches on a lot of the panels, but it is all hologrammed. There's two reasons for that, or two possible reasons, and it's probably both of them in truth. The, the dealer that sold it will have had it mopped, okay? Um, they're not being malicious, they are doing what they believe to be best. They are trying to give a better service and a better product. We can't, we shouldn't laugh at them, we shouldn't take aim at them. They are doing their best. Okay, their best is not what we believe to be good enough, but they're still doing it, right? So, so yeah, two reasons. It's probably been, yeah, most probably been mocked at the, at the dealers. Every time. get to that one later an a7 um, uh, second reason it has been painted definitely up front so front bumper for sure loads of telltale signs um, there's some thick paint and dry edges on areas where they probably not prepared it properly and just sort of taped it up so they couldn't get into sand or, or finish well obviously I can't do anything with that. Um, there's also some dry edges that we can get to and there is um, some bad peel, some uneven texture in certain places. Uh, the texture we will deal with. Okay, apologies for that hard cut then. It seems like the detailing gods don't want me to get this video done. Um, Battery is just exhausted in the camera. FYI, shooting in 4K absolutely ruins batteries compared to HD. But again, I'm trying my best to bring you the best quality content I can. So where were we? Um, roughly talking about orange peel, maybe? Um, Go back to the orange peel anyway this is going to do well for the chapters isn't it um so yeah obviously aftermarket paint texture is never going to be right 
it's certainly not going to be as even as you'd like it. I'm not sanding it, I'm not going crazy, but I definitely want to try and dumb down some of that peel so, so the texture is, flows relatively nicely around the whole car. Um, I'll have to set the plastic gauge up and just dial in all the gates and everything. I, I dare say some of the paint is thick and some of it is quite thin and there are a couple of edges that have already been picked off. I don't even know if the owner knows. Um, so we're going to be dancing around that. If I've got some white paint lying around, I'll try and touch it in as, as best as I can, but it's, it's not really what you know the job was about. Um, but yeah, holograms, scratches, scrub marks, sanding marks, texture, dry edges, picked edges, like we've, we've got it all. Um, only a dual stage. As always, major, major, major improvement. Don't expect perfection and as always, I'm going to highlight the imperfections afterwards. You know how I like to do it. I want to be dead honest. I don't want people out there to believe if you do this, this happens. Like, it's not how it works. I'm trying to bring real. Okay. Um, so that's the paint. Wheels. Uh, wheels are coming off to be ceramic coated. Surprise, surprise. That won't, um, that won't catch anybody out. Um, they've had, they look to have had poor refurbs already, uh, this is setting the trend really for the video. So look, we're going to get them as best as we can. Wheel weights are all over the place. I don't have a balancing machine, so I can't do that. So I've got to dance around those. Just, you know, we've got to chemically decontaminate them anyway. So fallout remover and tar removers. Um, I'll probably have to hit them with some acid because there's some bad staining on there. Just get them as good as we can. Clay the inside, get off what overspray we can and whatever staining, whatever is left is left. But they will be the best they can be without a further refurb. And to be honest, if we're doing that, it really needs to be tires off and chemically or physically um, abraded rather than just a, you know, a face refurb. Um, but while they are off, again, BMW owners, you all know what they like. The hubs and the calipers look like absolute trash. Um, I don't know what it is with BMWs, but they're just appalling. So I'm going to tidy those up. I'm not stripping anything off. I'm not, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not sending stuff for powder coating. Just realistic work. I will wire, wire brush and sand and prepare the surfaces as best as I can. Um, and then just brush paint them with a smooth leveling heat resistant paint. Again, they're not going to be perfect, but by the time the wheels are back on and mounted and they're looking nice, it just makes everything disappear into the back and look good rather than rust and hideous stuff catching the eye. So it, it will really tidy those corners up. I'm actually looking forward to sort of doing that, putting the wheels back on, seeing how they look. Um, once that's done and the tyres are dressed, I think we'll be pretty good in those corners. Glass, obviously, I'm going to have a glass sealant on all the way around, so that'll be machine polished. Not, I'm not using serum oxides and rayon pads and stuff, I'm not trying to remove the scratches, just trying to prepare it for the coating, uh, the sealants. There is a very, very bad film on it, and it doesn't matter how much you wash and clay. I find machine polishing just with regular pads and compounds uh, paint pads and compounds. It does, it does the best job of prepping the surface really, really quickly, really, really evenly. So we'll get that done. Um, a few little details to sort of deal with. The exhausts, they're pretty tarnished, but they look good underneath. So I'm hopeful that we can sort of restore them nicely, get a sealant or a coating on them. That'll be wicked. And then the interior, as always, <laughs> much like the rest of the car, driver's seats had some recolouring done it's not immaculate if I'm honest with you but they need deep cleaning anyway so um, we'll just take our time be careful brushes APCs you know don't leave the chemicals on too long don't make the chemicals too strong I don't want to strip the colours off just clean it well clean it thoroughly put a bit of a dye blocker on afterwards job done nothing to in, in intrusive uh got to do the steering wheel as well because that is absolutely hanging 
um, wipe the plastics over and hoover it like we always do, clean the glass internally again like we always do and then run the ozone machine. Um, it's what I've been doing since since the pandemic really and quite honestly I don't intend to stop it. The machines aren't overly expensive, they're probably a lot cheaper than they were at the start of the pandemic. Um, look, I, I know they're not a, a magic bullet but well they, they've proven to work like you know technically um, all the tests come back they do kill viruses uh, they do k kill coronaviruses i'm not saying covid19 and um, sars covid they do a better job than not using them i overrun mine 10 gram machine um and i run that for an hour that's probably the same level that you'd run in like a hotel um bedroom or a big hotel room uh, so it's as safe as possible afterwards and um, all the little bits add up i think ultimately and then the owner will drive it away everybody's safe everybody's clean key will be inside the car key will you know be subject to the ozone as well so um that's it that's uh, that's my rambling done um i'm gonna make a start oh bmw owners will know as well and people who work on bmws like myself um, that shadow chrome black trim whatever you want to call it it's in really good condition on this car and I want to keep it that way um, if you've never seen it if you've never experienced it uh, the BMW owners will tell you even th th they're just the same as any piano black sort of trim they swirl and scratch really really badly but even hand polishing over time you'll see the edges start to show so there'll be like silver lines on on the the edges where people have even just hand polishing have gone too hard can't find any of that on these so i'm going to take them up so that when i'm so if you imagine that's the trim and i'm polishing this panel here i don't want my, my pads to be hitting the edge so i'll take the edges tighten right the way i like it roll them um, i'll do that i'll refine the paint as well then I'll pull the tape off and then I'll polish the, the, the trim with just a finishing polish and a finishing pad, brighten them up, get rid of some of the swirls, get into every sort of nook and cranny that I can. And then we can coat the car, coat everything, and it's all good. Um, so there we go. That's the list of the jobs. Hit them chapters if you don't want to see it all. Stick with me for as long as you can. First things first, as always, go and put the kettle on. Nice strong coffee caffeinate up and then we'll crack on i hope you enjoy it any questions as always leave them in the comments or hit me up on social media i think probably most of my viewers here come from a social media account so you know by all means drop me a dm on instagram or facebook or whatever you're on and um, if i can help i will if you need prices and quotes let me know let's go
also think that that means that we need to think about how we get to that reckoning, because the most important thing is
biggest prevailing theory is that all of this is just some sort of hoax. The creatures do look rather silly and awkward uh, to most, as if they may be some sort of puppet rather than actually alive. While it's never been proven, the videos were weird enough to get the attention of a sci-fi TV show called Fact or Fate, and a paranormal expert set out to examine the video. The analyst watched the creature, um, watched the creature.